What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about my new build that I just recently picked up the other day. So a lot of you guys who know who I am, who recognize me on other YouTubers channels, I specialize in BMWs. This is my shop here, Precision Dynamics. Uh, we work on a lot of S65s and 54s. Um, generally, just anything that's BMW related. Uh, we work on all of them. And if you guys have known me for some time now, you guys know that I do work on a lot of rod bearings and, and, and a lot of videos that are M3 related, especially the E9X platform. And today, I'm going to show you guys my new E90 M3. So here is my new E90 M3 that I just picked up. This is actually a manual Jerez Black. This has actually been one of my favorite colors on these cars since the car actually came out back in 2008. Um, one of my friends actually had a Jerez Black E92 back in 2012 and I fell in love with the color. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it looks like it's a hint of blue. But when it's bright outside, it looks black and then sometimes it looks blue. This is my favorite color because if I want to wrap this car, I can wrap it. Now this car is a manual as well and it has cloth inserts the cool thing is normally whenever I see this package with cloth inserts on the middle it always has cloth on the door panels too but in this case it doesn't it's actually leather that's pretty interesting so this car was given to me um, as he purchased the car and went with him to go pick up the car and what the goal of this car was to take the motor and transmission out of this car and to swap it into this car. Now this is my buddy Josh's car. It's an E91 M3 converted. Quarter panels are already done, rear bumpers are done, uh, side skirts are on, front end is done, yeah, mirrors. So this is going to be S65 swapped with a manual as well. So this is gonna be actually a really badass build. I'm hoping to have this thing swapped by maybe in two, three weeks or so. And then this will be S65 swapped. I'm sure a lot of you guys would want to see this. So I will be blogging this car as well, the whole build process, showing you guys what's involved and then getting it started up and whatnot. So this thing has red interior as well. Uh, he already ordered new seats, getting the interior reupholstered. Now he's retaining this original color. He's not going for Fox red. This is actually really nice red too. But yeah, a lot of this stuff is going to be reupholstered. Uh, the interior trim is going to be pulled out of this car and placed into this car. Now, I'm super excited for this car because I've actually been looking for a E90 M3 manual that had a blown engine or something wrong with it. Um, I was thinking it was going to be a higher mileage. This thing actually only has 69,000 miles and it's super clean. Now, this is exactly what I was looking for because I have plans to swap this motor to something else. So the nice thing about me getting this donor car is that I will be getting this car complete. The only thing that this car won't have is the drivetrain. So motor, uh, transmission, and differential, axle, so, uh, drive shaft. The full interior is staying in there. The only thing that's being removed is the steering wheel and the interior door trims. Um, and then Besides that, that car already has everything else that you would need to convert it to an M3. Uh, minus a couple small things here and there. Uh, that does not have an exhaust on it currently, but we are going to be putting a Bulmus exhaust on that. I will be installing a Bulmus axle back on this as well. But yeah, this is actually a complete shell that's super clean. I love this thing. I've actually been driving it around, getting it ready for smog before I pull the motor out. Um, I will be out of town this week so I'll probably come back mid week actually no I come back on Friday night so I might be pulling the motor out of this on uh, Saturday and Sunday and swapping it into this over the weekend so as you guys can see it has the cloth insert on the center but the door panels isn't cloth it's actually the leather it's pretty interesting first time I've seen that I actually really like the cloth. I've always been a fan of it. And then this car actually has manual seats too. Um, and it's extra heated too. So I'm probably going to keep these seats. I'm not going to change it out just because they are manual. So they already are pretty light as is. Because you don't have the additional electronics and motors on the bottom of the car or the, the seat. So it's much lighter. 
there's no point in changing it out they're pretty comfortable already who knows maybe i'll change it out maybe not i don't know yet but yeah this thing is super clean the only thing that i wish this thing had was a slick top but we all know that's the you know wishful thinking in the e90 for the market these days it's almost impossible finding a E90 M3 right now, let alone a manual E90 M3. Um, one of my buddies has actually been looking for one for a while now and he just can't seem to find it. I was actually on the Facebook page and there's actually a lot of people posting up, requesting to purchase one of these and people are asking for a lot. Like E90 M3s with a manual transmission they're asking anywhere from 25 to 30k for something with like 120 140,000 miles it's crazy and like people are saying you know you guys are crazy but you know what it's supply and demand this one is actually really nice and it's only got 69,000 miles and it's LCI so <laughs> to start off where I left off yesterday because I did get a little bit busy afterwards uh, people started showing up and we had a bunch of cars to work on but we have the E91 moved into a different position now where you guys can actually see more of it we'll talk more about this car so this has a full M3 conversion the quarter panels are already done uh, it has the M3 quarter panels M3 rear bumper and LCI too which is actually pretty rare to find a LCI E91 wagon then it already has the CSL wheels, has the mirrors, has the fenders, whole hood, front end, everything. Has all the good stuff, has bay optic headlights. He's also going to be the one doing my headlights on my E90 M3 as well. So going into the interior, this is actually a very nice spec. So it's red interior and surprisingly, I actually had a E91 as well that I didn't really post much. I ended up selling the car to Henry. So he uses it as a daily now because I was actually planning on doing an N54 swap on that car. But mine actually didn't have the paddle shifters nor the sport wheel. So this is actually a sport package too. The weird thing about this car is that I don't think these ever really came with black headliners. Um, this one has you know, a gray headliner. But he's going to get it reupholstered to black. I think he's going to do Alcantara. He's getting new seats for the front as well. Um, and he's getting Recaro Sportsters. And then, yeah, this thing's going to be a pretty cool build too. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome to see a E91 M3 converted manual. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> I've never seen the airbag cover being all black like that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually a really cool spec. Super excited for this build. Excited for my E90 build. Um, I have quite a few builds going on that we're doing. Hopefully, we'll have all these builds ready for, you know, hopefully if there's Beamer Fest or something like that. Then we can take it out to Beamer Fest and showcase all these cars and you guys can all come in by and check it out. 
Uh, I think these cars should grab quite a lot of attention. The goal of these cars, you know, between all of us that are doing it, is that you know we've always wanted one of these cars to have a certain style or to have like a M3, whatever it may be. You know, we all wanted something different and unique. So we're all going to be building something different, unique, and it's going to be pretty badass. Hopefully I can convince this guy to do like a stroker kit or supercharger too because that'll be awesome. You know, this is exactly what I would have done. This just costs a lot of money though. This is very, very expensive build. I mean, just finding all these panels and pieces that you need, you're probably looking at to do a full M3 conversion anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars, including the rear quarter panels, getting it welded on, um, and then getting the car painted. You know, something like this is very, very expensive. Not including the motor, you know. Imagine having to get the motor and then swapping it over too. That's quite a lot of money. For me, it just, you know, I originally wanted to do it, but it just wasn't feasible with the amount of money I would have to dump into it. You know, at least with the E90 M3, that's going to be a crazy build. So you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think I'm going to put in that E90 because... It's going to be insane, I promise you. And the goal is to make over a 1,000 horsepower. So comment below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope you guys enjoy seeing all the updates and what we do over here, including you know what goes around with my personal cars. So that wraps it up for today's video. Um, I'm going to try to be more consistent with videos. I just haven't really had time. Plus, I got my second vaccination shot on Friday. And I've been out of town for the last few weeks i'm actually going to be out of town this weekend too i'm actually going to mashi Maro shop in seattle so i'll be trying to vlog up there too so you guys can see i'm going over there to help him install my crank up and as well as help him install his dock race kit because i want to see how that kit fits and kind of hear how it sounds It'd be pretty awesome to see you know the end kit and how it sounds hopefully he resolves the sound of the s55 you know i'm not a huge fan of the way it sounds car's amazing drives great I just hate the sound of them so i would never own one but you know not hating on it but you know they are amazing cars i just can't stand that sound so yeah peace out guys